Welcome to Designs by Bo. This is Bo. And uh, just wanted to say thanks to all the people that have supported me by uh, subscribing, watching my videos, giving good comments, support comments. As you guys take a minute to check out the comments on the screen, this video is strictly uh, a response video to a couple people that were asking how to put text on the top and bottom of a circle. And I'm going to show you guys an easy way to do that. Uh, but I just want to start off this video by saying thank you to uh, Mr. Amsterdam, Leather Class, Venkat Swami Suma, uh, and others who have uh, stopped by my channel and showed support by commenting and giving good wishes and also by subscribing. Guys, the subscriber thing uh, is good. It's a very good thing. It goes hand in hand with building the channel. Um, if you guys ain't know anything about the way YouTube works, I need you guys to basically subscribe and help support the channel to keep it growing. Um, that's a lot of motivation for me when I get those subscribers to keep doing these videos because without that, uh, it kind of gets a little disheartening doing a lot of work, spending hours making videos and edit it just to uh, seem like people watch the videos but nobody's interacting with them, especially the subscriber. But Getting off of that, um, thanks again, guys, and I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, and hopefully everyone that watches this video decides to be a subscriber, but let's get into this video. So guys, the title of this video is How to Add Text to the Top and Bottom of a Circle in Inkscape. And the first thing, guys, that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the left and select our create circle ellipse and arcs or f5 we're going to click on that and then we're going to hit control hold down control and then we're going to just click and drag a, a circle and when you do this this gives you a perfect circle um 360 and then just release when you get it to appropriate size um, you can tweak this at any point in time once you're once you have your circle, you can change the size of it. And I'm just going to hit select transition objects. I'm just collect hit that the um, the arrow and just kind of move this around just to get the space in the screen that I want. Go down a little bit. At this point, um, if you guys watch the other video, if you want to go back and watch the other video, um, how to get text at the top how to get text on a circle, how to put actually place the text on a circle. The That video is, goes real in depth on how to do this, but I'll still do it in this video in case you guys um, need a quick reference. So we have our circle. The next thing we need is our text. And for me, I like to, when I'm doing this, I like to have a lighter color circle so I try to pick a light color, but not something that blends in too much with the white background, just to have a contrast, because I like to use the text in either a black or a navy blue just for um, contrast between the two. So I'll pick uh, just a light. I'll just pick this blue. Maybe I'll pick a, yeah, I'll pick that blue. That's fine. And then next thing we need is the text. So first we'll put the text on the top of the um, circle and to do that what I'm going to do is uh, just to make sure that this goes smoothly I'm going to hit click on the circle hit control D that'll duplicate it and you'll see that how that box blinked which means it, it pretty much um, it dupli it shows that it, it an action took place, which is a duplication. If you move it to the side, click and move it, you'll see that there's another one. Anytime you mess up, guys, you want to go back a step, you just hit control, hold down control and hit Z, and it'll go back to the thing that you did previously before the last action. So with this one, I'll just change the color of this one. And it doesn't matter which circle we use first. So um, the first thing we'll do is... Um, now that we have two circles, then I want two circles because I want to ensure that when we do the second, the bottom text, or whichever one you do first when you do the other text, I want to make sure that having the exact same circles and once I'm going to do one circle for each text, that will ensure that there's no 
mistakes that will be made that will cause an error to the previous text. Because once you're doing this, you're basically changing, you're altering the path of the text being on the circle. And when you add another one to that, it may alter that. So in, in order to be able to fine tune this, we're going to use two circles and do two separate lines of text, one on each circle. So again, guys, um, just follow along and you can always go back replay as much as you need to so here's our first circle we don't have to really click on that what we need now is text so we want to text uh, I'm just going to type circle at the top and we'll just do this and depending on what font you have and what um these are all pre-selected in the program. Somehow it saves them. I, mean, I haven't figured that part out, but like it'll remember certain text where you were. I believe it's if you click this button, but I'm not sure what does. I'm, I'm not sure that I haven't had a chance to play with that part of it. But so I just usually switch it to a easily readable text. And as it, as you guys can see, it made it too big. So you just hit, if you want to increase and decrease the size in all directions, you, you hit control, you hold down control, and then you click on one of the arrows and you pull down or up, in or out to make it the size you want. If you want to go in either direction, you hold down the shift. And if you pull here on this side, it'll make it go left and right on the X axis, in and out. Or if you hold shift and go up and down, it'll go this way on the Y axis. But this is pretty much good enough for what I need. And because we have, we're already set on this. And you guys see how I'm moving everything around on the screen. To be able to do this, to get everything back in center, you just hold down space bar and then click your uh, left click on the mouse and just drag it around while holding the space bar. So uh, we have the text that we need circle at the top and to make this easier I'm just going to hit click on the text hit control D to duplicate that text so we don't have to create that a second time and go through all the motions of sizing it up. Uh, let's see. So we have our duplicate text and you just to get it so the text to get back into the editing part of the text you just double click on the um, any letter or any part of the object of the text and see it says circle it's I'm able to edit it now circle at the top and then I want to make this circle at the bottom now we have our text for both and I'll just roughly make these about the same width. It, this is not an important step, but I'm just doing it for the sake of making this look uniform. So now that we have our text, we want to click the text that we want. And I usually just bring it over here. This is not going to, sometimes it puts it there, sometimes it doesn't. And you want to uh, have both selected, the circle that you want and the text. And when you have that, you go to text, and then you put um, put on path and click that. And now, as you see, your text is now on the path. Then I'll click off of that. And to get this circle, to get this at the top, you want to click on your circle. And then click it till you see these curved arrows. arrows. So, guys, from here, we're just going to hold control down and then take click on this one of these corner arrows and just push it around in a circle until you bring it to close to even and then you can let go of the control now you can just drag it around still holding down and get it almost perfect if you want to get this perfect um, 
what you would do is bring down, you would go up to this ruler and then click and drag down a line that you could actually sit these on. And if you can see this, I've put this almost dead on perfect. It, it actually is about per, as perfect as you could probably get it. So this text is perfectly centered. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and click on this circle. We have our text for the top. It's perfectly positioned. And if you want to increase the size or anything you want to do with it, do all of that before you go on to the next um, step. Next, next step is to, now that we have, I don't need this, so I can either click this, click on it and hold, and then hit delete. I'm sorry, oh, I did the wrong thing. Hit Control Z to go back. You can click on this, I mean, I'm sorry, put the um, cursor on it, and then while the finger is pointing at it, you hit delete, or as easy as you drag dragged it down, you can click on it and drag it back up to the ruler and it, go, it disappears. Uh, next step, click on the circle that we just edited, and then you're just gonna hit the X down at the bottom left corner right here where it says none, so this will take the color away. Now you can view and then click off of it. Now you're able to view your second circle. At this point, we're gonna click on this circle and then click on our other text, text at the bottom. When we do that, we're going to go again to text, put on path. Now, we have our text at the bottom. And um, this is where it comes in play when it comes to, um, that's why I say fix your text size before you go and do the next step, because then you have an overlap. But for this, for the sake of this video, I'll fix this by just both of these bottom text and circle is, um, is selected. So I'll just drag it down just a little bit and by hitting control and just click on it. And then both of them will just come down some. So we still have our text pretty much. And then I'll just click off of it, then click the circle again, click it again, then hit control and then we'll drag this around so that we can get okay so that's all it's letting us do at this moment so I'll just click on it with just click on this arrow drag it around a little bit until we get it perfectly centered or close to perfect okay so now we have circle we have text at the top and the bottom of circle Okay, and if you guys like this orientation of it, here um, you guys can keep it this way. But if you want it to read opposite, where circle at the bottom goes from left to right, like it is here, but going across the bottom, here's the easiest way to do that. At this point, we're going to click on the text. We're going to go up here to where it says flip selected objects horizontally, and that's going to flip it from left to right. We do that, and now our text is actually backwards. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take... Okay, guys, we're going to actually go back a step. We're going to go back to where we first started off. once we made the circle and here's our normal text once we added this onto this when we first click the circle and the text and put it on the path this is how it looks so to get this the way that we want it the easiest way is to click on the circle and when we click on the circle we're going to go to flip select it uh, uh, flip selected objects horizontally and when we do that it now puts the text in the proper direction that we want it to go in and to get it to even out and have the same size as this text we're simply going to hold down control and then drag down I'm sorry not on the actual 
Not on the actual square. We need to select the text itself. Sorry about that. And then we're going to hit Control and then pull the text out until we get it right on the center. And then we can just click on the circle, go down to the X, and there you have it, guys. Um, and if this is, you can play around with it this way. If you want it to be more perfectly circle, you can just select both texts and then hit the uh, shift button and then drag this out a little and it'll, you can kind of play with it and get a perfect circle. So guys, there you go. This is how to get a, get the text on the, at the top and the bottom of a circle. If you guys have any more questions, anything else um, you guys want me to show you what to do or how to do in this program, please, guys, leave comments, subscribe, and thank you for all of your support, and I will see you on the next video.